So I got a little stain on my shirt. I don't know if you can see it, but I was, you know, doing a little thing over here. Hi, everybody. What's happening? We've got, hi, Kaylee. David, what's happening? Watermelon sugar. Hi. Um, so yeah, so basically what I was thinking about doing today is just kind of talking through some of the products. Uh, special guests will be here in a little bit, um, which will be cool. Um, and just kind of give you the lay of the land of like, doing a little plant-based barbecue because um, I'm working on some cool things and I just wanted to talk about my diet, um, how I'm incorporating sort of the plant-based products um, to get in better shape. Um, you know, it's just kind of fat shamed and it hurt my feelings. So I was like, I'm gonna get in shape again. So anyways, let's start off with a couple products. How about that? You guys good with that? First and foremost, we're gonna talk about some sausages. So, these are the chicken apple sausages. I've had these a couple times. Also, the one thing that I do want to mention with this is like, I am not on a plant-based solely diet, which I think is super cool. Um, I'm just trying new options. Um, we have a couple people on the show who have done the whole shebang with, uh, you know, going vegan and whatnot. Um, so I think this is a really cool option to kind of have on the table for us as hopefully we go into season two at some point. Um, again, we're waiting. I wish I had news for you guys. Um, hi, Bales. Thanks for sticking up for me. Um, season two. I don't know. I want to know. I wish I knew. I don't. But let's let's talk this. So, okay, sausages. Um, one link is 190 calories. That's pretty great. But the most important thing for me is the protein. I need to be on a high protein diet, as you guys know. John B likes to run, um, so John B needs protein. Therefore, Chase eats protein for John B and bada bing, bada boom. So, uh, 15 grams of protein per sausage link, which is awesome. Um, I really dig these things, but my most important and my favorite product is this one. These bad boys are the bomb.com, the awesome burger. Okay, I have a guilty pleasure for burgers in general. And so, um, having a plant based burger that actually tastes like a burger is amazing. Um, so these are fantastic. It comes in two patties. Um, they're 26 grams of protein per burger, which is awesome. So ladies, fellas, everybody in between, um, if you're trying to get on a diet and you're looking to improve your physique, you need to be eating on a high protein diet. Alex, fine if you're on here somewhere, probably not. He's probably sleeping. Um, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Uh, anyways, now let's just... I want to get I want to get some some interaction here. I want to I want to you know talk with you guys a little bit and see how everybody's doing. Hi Cassidy, I love you too. Hi Mallory. Hello. Should I bring some people on here? That would be kind of fun. Somebody just asked if I'm dating Madeline. Yeah. Okay. I see a couple questions. The brand is called Sweet Earth. So Sweet Earth Foods is owned by Nestle and um, they are an entirely plant-based product line. Um, and they are amazing. Um, wow, we got a lot of people asking me to say hi. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But you know what I should do? I think I should introduce my guest. What do you think? Should I do it? Should I do it? Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll bring our special guest on. Why don't you come over and say hi? Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Oh, hey, hey, what's going on? Hi, we're, guys. We're, we're talking about... Um, food, we're talking about food. Talking about food, and look what's directly in front of me. Pickles! I love pickles. I hate Can pickles. Can I eat one? Yeah, you guys want to watch Maddie eat Wait. A, a pickle? I'm not eating a pickle. It's like ASMR. Okay, we're done with her. I think we're done. Um, so I saw somebody say, is it hard to diet during quarantine? Yeah, it, it was for sure. Um, I, I definitely struggled the beginning of quarantine to find any consistency in life at all. Um, so for me, getting back into a somewhat consistent diet and finding the proper ways to... Um, 
to, you know, kind of maintain some consistency was really, really hard. And that was kind of part of the reason why this whole Sweet Earth campaign kind of came to be because everything is prepackaged, everything is ready to roll, it's super easy to cook. So for those of you who are not fans of cooking, um, like myself, bing, um, it's super easy to kind of do. And if you haven't ventured into the plant based world, I suggest it. You've been doing it for a while. I've been doing it for a while. I I went kind of, I've kind of fallen off of it, but last summer while we were shooting Outer Banks, I went on a um, a pretty, pretty much all plant-based diet, sometimes fish. Um, But I just noticed that for me, it works really well. And just kind of trying to jump back into eating healthy and not ordering food all the time. It's a really amazing option and it tastes really good too. Yeah, I kind of forced her onto the bandwagon. Um, John B. in the gutter also has Sweet Earth around him, so my mind is in the gutter with Sweet Earth. Um, so, what are y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Um, somebody asked if you can put them in the microwave. So, the Mindful Chicken, I do believe you can. Yeah. I think all of them actually can go in the microwave. Um, yeah. So, minute and 30 seconds, plastic covered. Microwave safe dish, boom. Maddie made some Mediterranean bowls, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, so good. And they were awesome. What did you put in it? Um, so it's actually a recipe that my friend Caroline gave to me, but it is, it's quinoa, chicken, the mindful chicken, um, some olives, some Kalamata olives, figs, hummus, tabbouleh, and if you want to, you can throw in some red peppers, uh, some, some avocado is really good in there. Really, whatever you want, some spinach, some sauteed spinach. Yeah. Also, Madison Bailey said, can you tell Madeline I say hello? Hi. Hey there. Hello, friend. How you doing? How you doing? Um, what else? Also, um, what was I going to say? Um, oh, the sausages. Um, I've always been weary about plant-based sausages for whatever reason. I don't know if it's just because it's like usually a meat sleeve. Um, so I know that's a horrible term to use, but the whole thing with that is, is like these actually taste really good and the flavor really comes through. Um, the one thing that I really like about all of the sweet earth products is whatever you season them in, they really stick with the taste. So mm-hmm. for me, I'm kind of a spicy foods guy. Matt, do you like spicy foods? I do. Um, so like we made the burgers, uh two nights ago yeah mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. um and we did like a little bit of like a hot sauce red pepper um and just like pretty simple put a brioche bun on it and um oh bales needs to go shave her armpits <laughs> bye bye, bye bales um and it all the flavors like really came through and um so i think that's also a really good thing so if you're looking for a specific flavor and you mm-hmm. know you like certain things um it that's a wasp wasp. hi can you go away bye bye nat nat no No. okay i'm panicking um there's that uh hi mom i saw mom ask a question can you grill them absolutely yes yes i think they're best grilled yeah yeah we grilled them we've also done it on a a stove top which is comparable um but i i love the smoky flavor of a grill um, I think a well-cooked burger is, um... One of the a, finer things in life. Yes, it is a, uh, get the up. Oh, that's good. Nice. Um, so, um... Yes. Uh, I think one of those things with when you have a... I don't know. When you have those available, like, yeah, definitely grill it. But I think it's also really cool that you're not just basing it off of a grill. And you can get a very similar flavor on um on you know in the microwave um i think there's some other things that we want to talk about you guys like the view this doesn't suck right um it's pretty great hi millie what's up how you doing it's really delayed um okay Ooh. this wasp i'm not gonna lie keeps keeps coming around me all the time I'm gonna see. If we're gonna get. Oh, him. Okay. Oh, we've got a Maddie Pate in the building. Boo boo boo. Another one that I kind of.
kind of briefly touched on, but um, just want to kind of mention again, is this bad boy, Mindful Chicken. Um, I am a chicken fiend, and I eat chicken a lot, especially when I am dieting. And that is, out of all of them, um, I think my absolute, absolute favorite. I do, like with my diet, um, where's Madeline? Yes, Lila, your dog is loud. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm gonna add her from a distance because she's doing other things. Um, no, what I was saying about the mindful chicken is like, it's, it's so easy to do. And there's so many options for dishes, whether you just want chicken, whether like I was saying with the Mediterranean bowl, um, whether it's something like doing a stir fry, I am a huge, like, um, I don't know, like doing a Thai chili paste with some bell peppers and some green beans and those type of things. Um, so I just think it's really cool to have an option that is plant-based, that is, um, you know, easy to use in a bunch of different dishes and you know you're getting a high-quality protein. Um, somebody said, what kind of dog do you have? Um, it is, it's not my dog. She's kind of like my adopted dog, I would say. Um, I am in love with little Miss Maddie Pate, and she is a retriever, right? Maddie's a retriever. Golden She's a little golden retriever. Um, I don't know where she went. She's not a retriever. Oh, let's see if we can find her. Say hi, Maddie Pate. Hello. You're getting some screen time, baby girl. Say, I like Sweet Earth too. Housekeeping. Are you, uh, you good? Yeah, okay. Um, anyways, do you wanna, do you wanna whip up a burger? Yeah. We're gonna do, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna watch each other's reactions. Everybody wants me to say their name, but I'm not gonna say your names yet. Meow. Hi guys. This Hi guys. is the other Maddie. Alright. I'm gonna Oh no he has it. Ah, that's bad. I don't know if this is gonna work. What do you mean? If it's the the interference. Oh. This is section Jake. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> uh -oh. Maddie okay. Pete, what should we do? What's that? Look at this wonderful spread. Yeah, this this interference isn't working. Okay, I guess we can it off. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, that's so bad. Yeah. Maddie's gonna up. Maddie's gonna hang up because uh, that didn't work. That didn't work very well. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a good little burger. I'm not putting um, any uh, of these little demons on there. Um, no siree. We don't believe in pickles. Uh, it's salt of the earth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a burger with some spinach. Spinach, well, spinach, some fresh spinach. Um, do you want a tomato? I love a tomato. Oh, a tomato. Yeah. These are thick boys. Do you want anything else? Some ketchup, mustard. Um, I'm always good for some mayo, some onions. 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 See, this is what good boyfriends do. We make burgers for our significant others. Got some music in the background. Somebody's driving through. Okay, I don't know if we have mail. I don't think I got mail. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. I don't have mail. I'm always good for some. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? What? Can I ask you a question? Who puts onions on before ketchup? I was putting it on. <laughs> That's like putting the milk. Be... No, the cereal. The milk Listen, before the cereal. My, just, my, <laughs> the thing was, okay, what had happened was. What had happened was. Is, I. That's I okay, I'm gonna eat it anyways. Okay, burger one. Mm-mm. 
Am I doing like a live taste test? All right. What do you want, wait? Yes. Okay. You're right. Tell me that doesn't look delicious. I love a brioche bun. I have been fiending over brioche buns. They're delicious. Delicioso. Delicioso. All right, so since oh, wait. I'm a heathen, I'm going to do this. Nah, see, but that's see aesthetically happens? pleasing. It, yeah, but look, all the onions just fell off. Therefore, it's not working. It's not working. <laughs> No working. <laughs> Jake says he, Jake says he a weirdo for the onion part though. Jake, go no to bed. cap. Jake, go to bed. I also did the bun upside down. Oh, yeah. I'm an idiot. Okay. All right. Taste test. Come sit with me over here. ASMR. Okay. I'll come sit over there. <laughs> Okay. Oh, a, a whole shebang here. We're gonna set up a whole shebang. Okay. Here is an awesome burger. An awesome burger. Awesome, because burgers are awesome. Burgers are awesome. Is. Cheers. It's weird. Look at that. Is it tomato or ketchup? Because it's really just the same thing if you think about it. Boom. What? Did I just blow your mind? A little bit. But even like if you look at it, it looks like a normal burger. It's really good though, y'all. So for those of you guys that like get weirded out by texture and all of that chaos, it actually feels in your mouth same as a normal burger the, yeah the texture um, is very similar and it also i'm gonna talk and eat just because why not um the flavor is good it is i seasoned it with like a little bit cayenne pepper salt and pepper did i do anything else I don't think you did. They're also, another side note, they're so good with sriracha. Oh, yeah. Sriracha with these burgers is yeah. kind of magnificent. That's pretty great. But anyways, the other thing that I do want to mention um, was that these are just the products I have right now. But if you go to Sweet Earth's website, it's Sweet Earth Foods, Sweet Earth Foods com. They have a ton of different stuff. They have pizzas. Um... They have wraps, they have burritos, they have all mm. sorts of fun stuff. So even if like meat options aren't necessarily things that you're into, there's like a super wide variety of a bunch of different things that you can kind of dig your teeth into, if you know what I'm saying. No, um, pun intended? I intended the pun. Pun is intended. Pun is intended. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I, I think it's cool. I, also, I want to challenge you guys. If you guys are still dealing with the quarantine after effects, as I am. Try it out. Try a plant-based diet for a little bit. Um, see what you think. It might be something you like, might be something you don't like, but I'm enjoying it. I've lost, since the start of quarantine, I've lost almost nine, almost 10 pounds. Um, so I'm getting back into fat and shape. That's what they like to call it. Um, so it's kind of been great because my diet has changed. Oh, somebody asked about Tammy. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I don't know. Hi. <laughs> Watermelon sugar. Hot. Okay, Hi. never mind. <laughs> oh, um, no, but seriously, also, guys, so the thing is, even though I can oh, no, eat no. meat sometimes, it doesn't always sit right with me. It doesn't always sit right with my spirit. Um, meat doesn't sit with spirits. Mm -mm. it's not you know it's really heavy also during the summertime when it's really hot i don't know about y'all but sometimes heat affects my appetite mm -hmm. and but sometimes you just really are craving a burger and so what's great about them is they're really light they don't sit heavily they're really yummy 
and they give you that same satisfaction that a burger does. Yeah. Also, I see a lot of you guys asking about season two, so I'll just go ahead and talk to you guys about it. Um, I don't know. Period. Ah, no, we really don't know. So the whole thing with it is 